Hey, Shug. Welcome back to this year, sir. So, I'm going to do, like, a little special video. I'm going to do, like, what do they want to say to you and why? And I'm going to use my um, Hidden Truth Oracle deck, okay? Um, read the message and then kind of clarify it and see why. <laughs> okay, so, going through all signs, starting off with Aries, okay? All right. What do they want to say to you, Aries? What do they want to say to Aries? What do they want to say to you and why? For Aries spirit. Mm -mm. And you can apply how it fits if it fits for Aries spirit. What do they want to say to them and why? Okay. You were the best thing in my life. Mm -hmm. With, I wish I could take back my words on the bottom. Okay. They shouldn't have said that. Whatever they did or said, they shouldn't have done it, Aries. Okay. You were the best thing in their life. All right. Don't use this deck. No. I'm going to use this one. Okay. I think that deck has too much energy. It's kind of thick. This one's better. Okay. Let's see. What do they want to say to you and why, Aries? They want to say, you were the best thing in my life. I wish I could take back my words. Okay. I was just talking. Right. I was just talking on my neck. I wasn't, I wasn't serious. Right. Why is you were the best thing in my life here for Aries? Why is this card here? Mm -hmm. The King of Cups. This person loves you. Okay. They're in love with you. Okay. Yeah. They probably don't show it. Okay. Because the King of Cups has a whole lot of love and doesn't show it. Okay. And with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Okay. This person wants to like work on things. Okay. Work together. Build something. Work together. Build something. Cooperate. Okay. With the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. They weren't honest in the past. Okay. They weren't honest in the past. They weren't reliable in the past. They weren't um, who you needed them to be, okay? Whatever they said to you in the past, you know, even if it was like, you know, and like they said, I wish I could take my words. If they say something to you that was negative, um, they, they, weren't, they weren't telling the truth, okay? Yeah, they feel guilty with the Ten of Wands, okay? Yeah, and the two of swords, okay. Um, closing, closing you out, okay. Um, closing off, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys could have gone through things in the past, and it made them question the relationship, question the dynamic. Anything else for Aries? Yeah. Four of Cups and the Three of Cups and Three of Swords, okay? They're not happy. They're not happy with y'all being like at odds like this, okay? With the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands, they want to talk to you, okay? Maybe the heartbreak caused them to walk away, but this is like, I want to I wanna talk. I want to communicate. I want to tell you some things, okay? Because with the Four of Cups energy, they're not happy, all right? So that's what I have for you, Aries. <laughs> Moving on to Taurus. Taurus, what do they want to say to you? Okay, what do they want to say to you and why? All right, for my Taurians, what do they want to say to Taurus and why, Spirit? What do they want to say to Taurus and why? Okay. Just being near you is intoxicating, okay? They can't get enough. Yeah. But my deck says you came closer than anyone. Listen. That you were special. Okay? <laughs> like you All right? If anybody could break through the walls, you could have. Okay? All right. Why is just being near you is intoxicating here for Taurus? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. In the world, okay. Um, I feel like, yeah, you make them want to, uh, like, you make them want to, uh, like, leave the one away and start a new relationship. <laughs> like, seriously, though, but you make them want to, uh, like, even consider, like, long term, okay. And with the King of Swords energy here and the Queen of Wands. 
they they probably need to leave someone okay um they are stressing about this decision they probably need to leave a a, a aries a leo or a sagittarius okay but they're you know that it's kind of stuck on that decision it stresses them out you know they don't they don't know okay but you be just being near you is intoxicating okay yeah they know they need to like leave the past behind like walk away okay in order to make an offer to you okay it seems like that's what they want to do okay but they have to end something that they started okay but just being near you is intoxicating all right, all right. for gemini all right what do they want to say to Gemini? For my Geminis, what do they want to say to you and why? What do they want to say? Ooh, no, that's too much. Let me talk to Gemini like that. Even though Gemini is little, it's up. Okay, what do they want to say to Gemini and why? Okay. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Mm -hmm. By my deck says, we will be together again. Okay. So you might have told this person to kick it. Okay. And they blamed you for it, right? Okay, they're saying that you're going to be together again, though, right? Let me get a new deck. Yeah. Let me get a new deck. For Gemini. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Clarify this message, Spirit. Why is this message here? For Gemini. It was my fault, but I blamed you. For Gemini, yeah. They walked away, okay? They abandoned the connection towards Virgo Capricorn, okay? But they regret that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They created um, this turbulence between the two of you. Yeah. Page of Swords, okay? It's like, I know I hurt you, okay? I know this is over. I know this is done, okay? I know that you might have, like, other options, okay? Yeah. They're thinking about what decision to make. They're thinking about this connection. Um, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Why is this card here for Gemini? Yeah. The high priestess. Okay. All right. It's like, I know I need to change. Okay. I know I need to change how I maneuver with you. I know I need to change how, you know, like my maturity level with the nine of pentacles. Okay. It's about being like mature and stable. Okay. Yeah, and communicate to you and tell you how I feel and all that, right? There's someone that's like, I know I need to change, all right? Um, yeah. Anything else for, it was my fault, but I blamed you for Gemini? They held back, okay? They held back to what they find stability in okay the four pinnacles is about stability and they held on to those things that um gives them some type of stability okay whether it's money whether it's a person whether it's you know a job whether it's a, an apartment whatever the case may be they hold on to the things that give them some type of like foundation okay um with the nine of swords energy they know that they you know kind of uh sabotage the situation you know by doing that all right um yeah, but with the hangman energy, they're seeing things from a new perspective. Like, you know, actually being cooperative and working together and building something together can actually, you know, be good, okay? So, yeah, they want to transform things, okay? Heal things with you, all right? And possibly get a second chance. Ready? Mm -hmm. On to Cancer, all right? All right. For my Cancerians. What do they want to say to Cancer and why? What do they want to say to Cancer? I remember every detail of that day. Okay? I remember every detail of that day. It says so many things remind me of you. Okay? So you probably you know aren't with this person or aren't around this person and they you know remember maybe the last time you guys were around each other maybe the day of the argument maybe a special occasion, okay? But they remember every details of the day, okay? Why is this card here for cancer? I remember every detail of that day. It was written, okay? The emperor, okay? Major arcana, 
the world, Major Arcana, okay? Someone knows they need to step up, okay? They need to change. They need to stop being so controlling. They need to stop being so overbearing. They need to stop being so... Um, they need to change, okay? Yeah, with the Ace of Cups here, um, this is about having a brand new beginning, okay? Having happily ever after, all right? Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here on the bottom, Major Arcana, okay? Um, the Two of Swords and the Fool. There's someone that wants, you know, wants to change how they're approaching the situation. Um, they might, you guys might have talked about the whole Ten of Cups, you know, you know how y'all want y'all life to look together and, you know, how y'all imagine it would be. Um, and they know that in order to make that happen, they need to stop BSing, okay? The Two of Swords energy is giving me avoidance, okay? Avoiding taking a leap, avoiding stepping out there, avoiding going the long term, okay? Yeah. This person knows they need to step up to the plate. They need to stop being a... I was going to say, okay, and have a new beginning with you, okay? In order to create this change, all right? All right. Could be done from Aries with that emperor energy, okay? Or maybe a father figure. On to Leo. All right. What do they want to say to Leo and why? Leo, they said, I'm starting to understand our connection, okay? They're starting to understand it, okay? Bottom of the deck says, I love you, okay? I'm starting to understand it. No, I'm starting to see just why I can't let you go, <laughs> whatever it is, baby. All right, I'm starting to see why, you know, we get along so great, whatever, okay? I'm starting to understand our connection. Why is this here for Leo? You heard that? <laughs> I told you I can't get no peace. I'm starting to understand our connection. For Leah. Seven of Cups. And the Emperor. Okay. This person could have, you know, been like keeping their options open or maybe like you know, worried about like, you know, maybe you having options or, um, you know, whether, you know, you meet all of the criteria for them in long-term commitment, but they're realizing that you do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. So this person, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, could have held back a lot from you. Um all the confusion or worry about the connection it could have held back from you, okay? But they want to communicate with you. Um, it might come off a little childish, okay? Or um, somewhat uh, low-key, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, which is, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a small message, okay? And with the Six of Swords energy, it's to, it's to move things into a better uh move things into better energy okay yeah this person wants to work with you they want to build something with you okay yeah yeah and they're going to communicate that okay yeah they're making a decision okay there could be conflict around this decision there could be uh gossip around this decision arguments around this decision but they're going to make it okay they were worried about whether you're going to you know meet their expectation but not anymore okay and they're going to talk to you about it okay so that's for leah all right we have who's the after leah yeah no. virgo yeah virgo i told you i, I got it yeah okay what do we have what do they want to say to virgo and why what do they want to say to virgo i know i was a distraction to your pain from your pain okay i know i was a distraction from your pain with i want to feel that way no, I want to tell you how I feel. First of all, I need to stop trying to 
read the cards like in my mind, okay, and just read what's on the paper. Okay, so it says, I know I was a distraction from your pain, and I want to tell you how I feel, okay? So some you could have been kicking it with somebody who, you know, you know, like after a breakup, or um, you're making a lot of noise. Okay, yeah. This person, curl back, okay? Maybe communication or moving forward with the connection, okay? With the lover's energy here, right? Maybe because they did feel like they were just like side piece or something like that, okay? And they might know that this kind of hurt, okay? When they walked away, all right? They want to tell you why they held back, okay? They want to talk to you about why, you know, about the, the betrayal or the ten of swords when they walked away from the connection, okay? With the four of wands and the seven of wands. Um, yeah, it, it could have been like friends and, and, and friends and acquaintances like involved, okay? Um, telling them stuff or making them feel some type of way about the connection, um, making them, you know, question themselves. Um, but they want to talk to you about it. That's what I have for you. <laughs> Moving on to Libra. For Libra spirit, what do they want to say to Libra? Hey, Libra. What do they want to say to Libra spirit and why? What do they want to say to Libra and why? Okay. We got two cards. It's, a, it's time for me to heal now. Okay. All right. Also have finding out the truth crushed me. All right. With I lost myself for a while, for a little while. Okay. Yeah, they lost themselves. It's time for them to heal now. Finding out the truth about something hurt them. Okay. All right. For Libra, it's time for me to heal now. Finding out the truth crushed me. Why is it's time for me to heal now here, here for Libra? It's time for me to heal now. Okay. With the Shrimp card and the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, okay, they are resisting being in a commitment or being in a relationship with you. Um, maybe because of something that they found out. Why is it's time for me to heal now? Here for Libra. Could be down for Leo. Mm -hmm. With the Devil Energy, Capricorn. Page of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles, um, they're resisting it because they, yeah, with the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords, um, a secret could have come out. Maybe you're coming around to apologize, maybe giving gifts, maybe offering equal give and take, but they're they're like, they're resisting it. They don't want the connection. They don't want to be in a relationship. Um, they don't want to be in a marriage. Um, this is someone that's like, it's time for me to heal now. Finding out the truth. Crush me. Why is this here for Libra? It crushed them. Why is this here for Libra? Yeah, Five of Cups. Okay. Five of Cups is about sadness and grief. Okay. And with the Seven of Cups here, yeah. Right now they're they're in, you know, in seclusion, okay, or taking a step back because they're trying to figure out their options or figure out what's next or try to understand things. Um, maybe you had options, okay. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, they're thinking all about this. They don't know about, you know, like being in a long-term commitment. Like, they're like, you know, what do I do? Maybe you guys are in a long-term commitment, a marriage or something like that, and they're trying to figure out, well, what do I do next, okay? Because finding out the truth crushed them, okay? Yeah, you were juggling it, okay? You or somebody else, okay, like was juggling this long-term commitment, okay? Had something else while you was in it, okay? And once they found out, it broke them, okay? So they need time to heal with the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands, okay? 
Um, they're, they're not making a decision right now. They just want to move on to calmer waters, move to a better state, okay? Get their peace back, take some time to heal, and be to themselves. Okay. So, um, on to Scorpio. You know, I'm just singing the Beyonce song in my head. Scorpio. For my Scorpios. What do you want to say to Scorpio and why? Okay. We need to let each other go. Okay. <laughs> With, I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay. So it says we need to let each other go. Um, here, for Scorpio. Like, come on, y'all know we're not in good for each other. I'm trying to let you go. I'm trying to get over this. <laughs> we need to let each other go. Why is this card here for Scorpio? Eight of Cups. Okay. Eight of Cups with the Strength card. Yep. Yeah, they're trying to resist the past and block it out with work. Okay. Yeah. They could have, y'all could have been in an argument. I mean, y'all could have been in a commitment where there was a lot of arguing. Um, yeah, but they are leaving the past behind, walking away, okay, resisting the past, okay, pushing the past away, not wanting to talk about the past, we need to let each other go. Why is this card here for Scorpio? Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah. Okay. This could be someone who is walking away to another connection, okay? Maybe with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles um, to maybe build a life with them, okay? Into a connection where there's equal give and take. Um, there could be some type of like sadness from a previous relationship that is stagnating them. Maybe this person is trying to move forward and they're saying we need to let each other go because they are having a hard time releasing the past. Um, apply how it fits. Okay. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Yeah. This is someone that does not want to have a second chance, okay? They're trying to, like, not do the same shit over and over again, okay? There's someone that's like, I'm trying to, like, start a new life, okay? We got the Empress, okay? Um, okay, the uh, Knight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles is here, okay? There's someone that's, like, trying to take take the steps to, like, rebuild themselves, rebuild their life, okay? Maybe with a another person, an empress, okay, someone that they see as a partner, um, someone they, they rebuilding their life, okay, and they're trying to resist the past. They're like, we need to let each other go. It's not healthy. It's not good for us, okay? <laughs> it's not good. So, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Uh, Sagittarius. What do they want to say to Sag and why? What do they want to say to Sag Spirit and why? I hide behind material things. Okay? Yeah. Bottom of the deck says, I hid who I really am from you. Okay? Whoever this person is, you don't know because they hide behind material stuff. Okay? They are putting on a front. They are not who they say they are. Okay. All right. Why 
Why is I hide behind material things here for Sagittarius? Okay. Why is this card here for Sag? Okay. The Hermit energy. Could be done from Virgo. Why is this card here for Sagittarius? The hangman energy, the king of swords, okay, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so this person hide behind material things, maybe focusing more on working and getting stuff. Okay, um, but I think with this hermit energy, if you haven't been talking to this person, if this person has been more secluded or you know, sought in solitude, this is helping them grow up or basically get a new understanding or awareness of themselves, okay? All right, and they know they need to probably make a decision on something, okay? Or speak a truth about something. Um, maybe speak up about something, okay? But the Hermit Energy, they, they're not saying anything. Um, you can be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? We have the Queen of Cups here and the Eight of Cups, okay? They have a lot of love for you, Okay? Um, they might have withdrawn or walked away from you, but they didn't say why. Okay, they know they need to um, say something in order for there to be some type of new beginning here. Okay, um, yeah, because this person sees you as a wish fulfillment. Okay, and they are interested in investing. Okay. Yeah. Anything else for Sage? Mm -hmm. The Nine of Cups, okay? They they see that they are resisting everything that they want, okay? They're, they're Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, okay? By procrastinating, yeah. They could have had some type of past guilt or something like that that was kind of stagnating them, um, but they know they need to do something. They know they need to talk to you. They know they need to make a decision. They know they, know they need to communicate. Okay. Uh, Capricorn. <laughs> what do you want to say to Capricorn and why? Let's do three shuffles. One, two, and okay. What do you want to say to Capricorn and why? What do you want to say to Capricorn and why? Okay. We both know I am not the one for you. Okay. Bama deck says, I wish I could take back my words. Okay. All right. We both know I am not the one. All right. <laughs> That's good. Why is this card here for Capricorn? Why is this card here for Capricorn Spirit? We both know I am not the one for you. Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Devil, Capricorn. Okay. All right. They know they probably need to communicate, make a decision. Okay. Um, they could have said some things to you that just weren't right, okay? That were kind of like nasty with the devil energy. Um, yeah. Could have sabotaged something in the past. We both know I am not the one for you. Why is this card here for Capricorn? Six of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay. So with the Six of Wands, this is like um, ego, how people see me um how i present myself right this could have had someone kind of like stuck right like they want to put on a certain front 
Um, but with this page of Pentacles, it's like someone who might want to make an offer but feel like they can't because of how people see them. Um, maybe um, have a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Okay. Maybe they had a new beginning with a Gemini, I mean, with a Leo, Aries, or a Sag. Um, and on the bottom, we have the Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Six of Cups. It's like, I want to tell you the truth about a union from the past. Okay. I want to talk about union. Okay. Um, and reconciliation even, okay? Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles and the Hangman energy, it's like maybe like equal give and take. I want to give you something. I want to talk about something, okay? Why is we both know I am not the one here for Capricorn? It's like I want to tell you the truth. The hangman and the will of fortune. Okay. Um, so one realizing that something has to change, something has to give. Okay. Yeah. In order for something to progress forward. Okay. Someone resisted and, and pushed a situation back, did not make a decision because they regard it. Um, basically like protecting themselves or maybe have experienced a lot that they didn't share. Okay. But that's what I have for you. Moving on to Aquarius. What do you want to say to Aquarius? And why? All right, Spirit. What do you want to say to Aquarius and why? What do you want to say to Aquarius and why? We need to let each other go, okay? With finding out the truth crush me, okay? And this is giving a lot of accuracy because I just did Aquarius reading and it was giving energy, okay? All right, so we need to let each other go. Why is this here for Aquarius? We need to let each other go. Why is this here for Aquarius spirit, Okay. Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords, okay? Yeah. They're protecting themselves, okay? Nine of Cups and Temperance. We need to let each other go for Aquarius. Okay, all right. Six of Cups. Okay, yeah. With the Devil energy. And the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Okay. So someone... Someone could have pushed you away. You pushed them away. Um, but it's like, I, I feel like someone already knew that a situation from the past was a wish fulfillment. Okay. Okay. But they also probably felt like it was very unhealthy with the devil energy, okay? Um, but with this eight of pentacles energy, it's like someone wanting to put in the work, um, wanting to put in some effort in like having a new beginning here, maybe like changing that energy around. I'm no longer pushing you away, no longer blocking it, no one, no longer like being defensive, okay? It's like someone wants to like uh, change their approach. Let me clarify this seven of wands energy. Clarify the Seven of Wands, okay? Four Aquarius. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay, it's King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm judging. So, yeah, someone, someone could have allowed, like, their friends or family to block them from making a judgment, okay? To keep them from, uh, from doing something, from going towards what they saw as a wish fulfillment, okay? 
Yeah. So that's what I have for you. <laughs> Moving on to Pisces. Oh, I finally made it through all signs. These are short. Though. Okay. The Pisces spirit. What do you want to say to Pisces and why? What do you want to say to the Pisces? Okay. Pisces. <laughs> All right. It says, I left you before you could leave me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. And I wish things could be different. Okay. Bottom of the deck says, I love you. Okay. All right. So let's clarify these messages for my Pisceans. For Pisces, why are these messages here? Please make it clear. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. Why is this here for Pisces? Okay. Knight of Wands. They were a whore. Okay. They were uh, sticking and moving. Okay, they had a lot of options, okay, and they regret that, all right? Um, they regret that. Why is I left you before you could leave me here for Pisces? They already knew this, just, you know, you was about to skedaddle, you was going to leave them, yeah. Okay, chariot energy. Mm -hmm. And the ten of swords, Okay. A secret could have came out about them having uh being in a, a marriage or a long-term commitment okay yeah yeah and they and they thought you know what it's best for me to just you know move on okay let me go ahead and go because um pisces has found out about my long-term commitment and um i need to leave her before her or him before they leave me okay why is sometimes i stay awake thinking about you here for pisces Mm -hmm. The Nine of Wands. They've been through a lot, okay? Um, with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Um, this is someone that wants a balanced connection, wants to give equally to a situation, wants to give equally even to you. But maybe um, what their mind basically tells them not to. It basically tells them like not to approach you, not to say anything. To wait, okay? With the Eight of Cups energy, um, they want to communicate to you um, and, you know, maybe, like, put the past in the past um, or tell you why they walked away, okay? Um, and the Two of Wands is about choosing a different path, okay? They want to maybe offer you a, um, you know, offer, make an offer to you. Yeah, the nine of swords wanted to come out. Why is this here? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah. The ace of swords. Okay. Yeah. They could have been worried about, like, if this would be an equal partnership. Like, if, you know, what they put in, you would put in. Um, but with this ace of swords energy, they're no longer confused. Okay. Yeah. They, if anything, they need to, like, stop being afraid of your response or afraid of you or afraid of expressing themselves and really tell you how they feel. I wish things could be different. Why is this card here for Pisces? Okay. Six of Pentacles, right? And the devil, okay? Hmm. They want to give equally to the connection. Um, maybe they are stuck or obligated in giving to, yeah, the devil just and it just came up with the queen of pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, to a um, family or to a situation. Yeah, um, even a mother figure, a baby mama, parents. Um, it seems like they give to a lot of people. Um, it's like, I wish things could be different, but it's almost like someone feels stuck giving. Um, or stuck supporting, okay? Why I wish things could be different, yeah. So with the pay, Knight of Pentacles 
and the nine of cups. Um, this person definitely feels like it's going to take forever to actually be able to like have what it is that they want. Okay. Yeah. High priestess in the tower. Yeah. But they want something. They want something new. They want, they want, um, a new beginning with you. Okay. And they do love you. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped. I hope this helped for everyone. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, do check out your other placements, okay? Um, we typically go off our sun sign, but check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, okay? And uh, see you guys soon. I uh, miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs> oh.